Cesar Rodney School District is extremely proud of the fact that we offer over 21 advanced placement courses, nine dual enrollment courses. We are the only school district in the state of Delaware to offer uh, seven world languages at, their, at our high school. So we go from the traditional Spanish and French to German, Latin, Italian, Arabic, and Chinese. We also boast the only Chinese immersion program in Kent County. We were the very first Chinese immersion program in the state of Delaware. So that means that our students start taking Chinese. A hundred of our, of our uh, kindergarten students start taking Chinese every year. Um, and uh, that's been going on now for six years. So we have a class that's actually in middle school that's doing immersion. We also do offer Spanish as an immersion program, and we've opened up our second Spanish immersion class at our kindergarten school. So we have 100 um, students taking Spanish and 100 students taking Chinese out of the 500 students currently at our, uh, at our kindergarten school. So we're very proud of that and the way in which they've progressed through the grades. We think that it gives them a tremendous opportunity uh, to not only excel and learn a, a different world language, but make them tremendously marketable later in life. So the programs that we offer in, in our schools really do focus on getting students to be college career and community ready. How we do that is by really listening to the needs of the community. So we recognize that having bilingual citizens is an essential part of a strong community. In, in reflecting that, we've introduced a, a Spanish immersion program, so our students are learning English and Spanish half day, half day, and preparing them to be bilingual citizens, but also preparing them to be citizens of the world, so that they have the ability to be able to communicate not just in English, but in Spanish, so they have the ability to understand cultures beyond their own. We've learned as a school district that operating in isolation is not the way to move forward. We've learned that, that it's important for us to have partnerships with our families, partnerships with our staff, and partnerships with the greater community. So we seek from the community the kind of input and support that makes us a strong school district. We look to bring the community into our schools, but we also look to bring our schools out into the community. Uh, we do that through a variety of ways. Probably one of the most exciting is through our career and technology education work. The work that's done there has our students who are in Dover High School as students, but they're also at Dell State and they're taking courses at Dell State. We have teachers at Dover High School that are certified to teach Dell State courses at Dover High School. Uh, our students, we don't see the walls at Dover High, what we see is the opportunities for our students. And so we, we open those walls as much as possible. So I would like to talk about three programs. The first program would be our AP History program and our Teacher of the Year, Christina Gallo, is the teacher in that particular classroom. Um, and it is helping our kids to be prepared for if they are really majoring in the history vein as they go off to college. Um, she prepares them in depth to help them be successful. We also have two new programs, one being our public health program. We are looking for it to really do a lot to help a lot of our students as they venture out into the health field. It's just gonna lay the foundation for a lot of different related fields, you know, um, as you go into other careers like phlebotomist, CNA, a lot of them have that very first level that they all need. So it's laying the foundation for public health. Our music production engineering, so that focuses on music and will draw students who are looking to go into the musical vein. Um, and so that's a good start up there for them to start from the basic foundation and moving their way through the program. A lot of times students may want to go into the music industry or play for a band, but there are a lot of things that they need to know about the business itself of what they would need to do in order to really work with the media part of the music. From the high school perspective, we offer uh, a wide variety of 
uh, of courses. So we have 16 uh, advanced placement courses and dual enrollment courses so students can gain college credits before graduating from high school. Uh, we also have uh, 20 different career pathways so students that might not necessarily be going to college uh, will have an opportunity to, to gain some employable skills uh, to kind of figure out what they would want to do once they, get, uh, once they get out of high school. So this is my 16th year teaching and every year I come back and there's a new pathway. Um, agriculture is ranked high in the state, it's flourishing. Um, engineering is a new one, the, the uh, medical aspect and now the educational aspect. So we're always saying what does Milford need, what does is, what is the state need, and how are we serving these kids to be competitive? So not just honors and advanced placement, but we are really serving the child of every walk of life who has a dream to serve any, any community. And I tell students all the time, if there's something that you, a club or an organization that you want to start, let's have a conversation about it. Let's have a conversation, we'll pull some teachers in, we'll see if there's an interest in, we'll see what we can do to make it happen, and so that we can tailor those opportunities. You know, oftentimes in schools we, we focus on education, which we should, but we don't focus on building the whole student. And clubs, organizations, and things like that do that. So having those conversations with kids to make sure they have a voice and an opportunity is what we, we pride ourselves on. So Polytech High School serves all students in Kent County. There are five districts that represent the county. We are a school of choice, so there is an application and a lottery system to apply to come to Polytech. Every November we have an open house, and it's open to the community for anyone that wants to attend. And the School Choice DE program runs from November to about January, and that is where we select those students that are, are um, chosen to come to Polytech. So we have four career and technical academies. We have professional services, we have an industrial academy, we have modern technology, and we have a medical academy. In those academies, we have 20 career and technical areas where students choose which one they want to specialize in over the course of their time at Polytech. So the assets that Polytech High School has for the community is to provide job-ready students on day one, to make sure that they have the interpersonal skills and the soft skills to succeed in the workforce. They also have the academic skills that they are ready when they enter the, the job force and that they have the uh, career and technical skills to be ready in their career field. So at Polytech High School, we have a work-based learning coordinator, and our goal is to get every senior student out on work-based learning opportunities with partners in the community. Uh, we want to make sure that our students have a certificate, they have dual enrollment experience with colleges and universities, but they, they are also ready to go and work and earn wages. They can intern, they can shadow, and they can even get paid and earn high school credit while they are experiencing those real-world uh, job-embedded opportunities. The most popular program we have is our agri-science program, which is the largest in the state of Delaware. Uh, our Smyrna agri-science program consists of five teachers uh, that we also feature uh, the FFA, uh, formerly known as Future Farmers of America. Uh, that chapter is the largest in the state of Delaware with over 475 students involved. So our ag science program starts at the middle school level. We have a seventh and an eighth grade program that funnels into the high school. I know there's a lot of communication between the high school and the middle school. Um, there's a lot of teamwork between the two. I know in the summer at the uh, Delaware State Fair, they are present every year. They win awards there every year. So it's, it's a real community between the two uh, schools and supporting that pathway for students who are interested in that. In agri-science, we have five different programs in agri-science, uh, agriculture structures and engineering, agriculture power and engineering, uh, plant science, animal science, and environmental science. Uh, with those pathways, students have the opportunity to earn certifications either through a national credential or a state agency. Uh, as an example, with our plant science students, they were able to earn their pesticide certification. Uh, our structure students were able to earn their OSHA 10 certification, which obviously goes into the construction field. Uh, and then there's also a number of uh, certifications with our animal science pathway uh, with, with animal quality. Agriculture is such a focus at Smyrna because agriculture and farming is the number one industry here in the state of Delaware. So we want to really make sure our students are able to go right into the workforce if that's what they're interested in. And technology, is all the new jobs that are coming with technology, our students are very tech savvy and we want them to use those skills to make a difference in the world. 